Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LDD Deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SAS software. I am back with another review and today I am going to review AI table. So AI table is an alternative to AR table or retable. So you probably already know what it does. You can create advanced spreadsheets using AI table. But apart from that, it also has some additional features. It has project management capabilities and also CRMs. You can even create AI agents using AI table. And for training that agent, you can use a data sheet or a spreadsheet, which means it is going to answer exactly according to that sheet. And there are also a lot of automations on AI table. And currently this tool is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is over $1,000. But at AppSumo, you are getting this tool at only $179. Now let's see all the plan and features of this tool. So you can create unlimited dashboards. You can have unlimited records on per space, which means your workspace. You can add 50,000 records to per data sheet. There is AI sales lead collection, chatbot, widget, website integration, and also a lot of other features. And these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. The tier one costs $59. Here you have 50 file notes. So one file note equal to one data sheet or one form or one dashboard. So on this tier one, you have 50 file notes. You can also create five AI agents. There's also license tier 2 and tier 3, but if you want the highest limit, you have to go for this license tier 5. It gives you unlimited seeds and the file notes amount is 10,000. You can create 100 AI agents and for the AI agent, you have a massive amount of message credits. You will also have 500k total automation every month. So if you want to buy AI table from AppSumo as a lifetime deal, make sure you check the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Now let's go to the dashboard. After you log into AI table, you are going to get this dashboard. And on this left side, you can see all of your projects or all of your files in your workspace. And in order to create a new, so for example, you want to create a spreadsheet. For that, you have to click on this add. And then you can add a new data sheet or spreadsheet and you can even import your existing data sheet if you click on this import so now you can import excel or csv files and to organize your files you can create folders so let me first create a data sheet or spreadsheet so as you can see this is how a spreadsheet is going to look like obviously this is a very default one there are as you can see three columns but you can add more for that you just have to click on this plus icon and then you have to provide the field name, which means the column name. And then you have to choose what type of column you want. So it could be single line text, long text, select. So these are all the basic options. And you also have these advanced options. This is obviously very similar to this spreadsheet that you are used to. And as you can see currently, the view is set to grid view. So it is looking like standard spreadsheet. But you can also change this view. So if you click on this new view, now you have a lot of options. So instead of grid view, you can have gallery view that is going to show every data like a picture. You can have Kanban board. So once I click on this, okay, so for Kanban view, I have to create a select field as well as a member field. So let's do that. And as you can see, now the standard spreadsheet, this one, it has turned into a Kanban board. And other than that, you also have a lot of other views such as can chart, calendar, architecture, and you can even create a form from your data sheet. So let's delete this view. And on the top left side, you can change the name, the name for this data sheet. You can also add a description if you want. So you can insert record, you can hide certain fields, you can use the filtering option, you can group by certain data. So all you have to do is pick the field and this way you can see the group view. You can also sort your data or change the row height. And obviously you can share this data sheet and on the top right side there are some additional options so you can find a certain data from your data sheet you can open the copilot which is the ai agent so for example you are facing some difficulties using ai table you can simply talk about that issue to ai table chatbot here and then it is going to answer according to the help center documents of ai table and you can also change this retrieve help center so currently this chatbot is set to help center which means it is going to help you about AI table but you can also make it a data agent and by doing that you can ask it to create charts or handling complex statistical tasks 
So I'm going to close it. And obviously there are also a lot of other options. You can open your forms or you can mirror this data sheet, make a duplicate. You can connect your API. You can browse the widgets. So let me show you the widgets. All you have to do is click on new widget. And as you can see here, some recommended widgets. So you can install this. For example, you want to create a chart. So all you have to do is install this one and you can easily display bar, column, pie, line of your existing data. And then you can also connect automations with this data sheet. You can go to time machine. So on this time machine, you can see all of the histories or all of the things that you have added or adjusted on your data sheet. You can also create a snapshot in order to preserve a certain amount of data. Let's close this one. And you can also get access to your archive box if you want. So this is basically everything about spreadsheet. But other than spreadsheet, you can also create a lot of other things. So I'm just going to delete this and then add a form. So in order to add a form, first you must connect your form to a data sheet. So let's create a data sheet once again. Now let's click on add and click on new form and I'm going to connect this form to this new data sheet. And now as you can see all of the fields that are existing on the data sheet they are appearing. So this title, these options, the attachments all of them are appearing. So you can simply click on create form and the form is now created. Now you can submit your form. So I'm just going to delete this and now let's create the dashboard. So on the dashboard you can add widgets. So just click on this plus icon. And here are all the widgets. Now let me show you how to create an AI agent. So click on add and click on AI agent. And now here's your agent. So now you can change a lot of settings about your agent. So the first one is you can select what type of AI chatbot you want. So it could be QA, which means it is going to answer specific questions within a data set. Or for example, it could be a data sheet, spreadsheet. So if you select this and click on next, now you have to connect your data sheet. And then the AI agent is going to answer your queries according to that data sheet. But you can also choose the other type. So let me show you that. I'm going to click on AI agent. And if you click on this chat, so this is another type of AI chatbot. And it is not limited to any specific data set. With this chatbot, you can engage in free flowing conversations, which means you can literally ask it about anything and it is going to answer that. So now let's delete this one and click on add now let's see the automation features so for automation it is very easy if you have used these tools before just like them you first have to add a trigger so click on this and what type of trigger you want it could be form is submitted record matches conditions so for example when someone submits a form i want the automation to trigger so click on this and you can add multiple triggers. So when a form is submitted, what you want the automation to do. So the action, you have to select the action on here. So it could be sending a web request, send message to Slack or send mails. So for example, I want to receive mails. Now, as you can see, as soon as I have selected these same mails, now on the right side, there are all of the options that are needed in order to connect my email. So I have to provide the SMTP server on here the username, password, send to subject message. So by filling all of these details, I can save my email. And the same goes for this trigger also. So obviously we want the trigger to happen when a form is submitted. So I have to select the form from here. And obviously I do not have forms. So that is why they are not appearing. But as soon as I have one, they're going to appear and I can select that. So just like these mails, you also get other options. So if you select this web request, as you can see, you have to go through these settings in order to properly set up. And then there is also Slack. So you have to connect your Slack channel using all of the boxes that you are seeing on this right side. And all of the settings are done properly. You can enable your automation in order to launch it. So now let's delete this one and let's see the other options. Other than this data sheet, form, dashboard, AI agent, automation, you can also create a new folder. Obviously, you can import from Excel or you can also create from template. So I already talked about the CRM and the project management capabilities of AI Devil. So how you can do that? So you can start using the project management or CRM features using various templates. So let me show you them. If you click on this create from template and as you can see now on the left side there are a lot of templates so you got templates on this hot section so you have product release plan content marketing for seo lightweight crm so here's the crm deal flow crm there is also video production management so a lot of project management templates that you can use and you can even preview it so for example i want to preview this one so here's how it is going to look like there's going to be roadmap release plan 
So you can use this template if you click on this. There's templates for project management, sales and customers, marketing. And for example, I want to use this content marketing SEO. So I just click on this. So here is the preview. And all I have to do is click on use template. Now I have to select in which workspace I want this template. So I have to select that from here and then click on OK. So in order to show you this template properly, I have used some pre-given data. So as you can see, there are four key sections. And if I click on this content dashboard, you can see all of the content, the number of SEO keyword content in planning, keyword competition level. And as I have said earlier, I have used pre-given data. That's why it is already filled up the data set. And if I go to this content management, as you can see here, all of the content with SEO keywords, publication form. So as you can see, this data sheet or spreadsheet is already created according to this content marketing workflow. So this is how the templates are going to help. You're going to get some data sheet that already have all of the needed things. So obviously it is for content marketing SEO. So you have a very relevant data sheet. You also have a data sheet for SEO keywords. As you can see, the keywords are divided into competition levels. So high level, medium level, low level. You can also see the personal list. I have already showed you this content dashboard. So this is how the project management or CRMs are going to work. All you have to do is choose the template and there is a huge amount of templates. So you are surely going to find the relevant template that you are looking for. And if you want to add your team members, you have to go to here and then click on invite. Now you can invite people to your workspace. You can invite via link or you can also invite using email. And then you can access all of the templates on here. And once again, if I go back to the workspace and on the bottom side, you can see trash. So once you delete a file, it is not going to be deleted permanently. You can still access them on trash. You can also create your own custom template from here. So just click on this. And here is a tutorial on how you can create your own custom template. So overall, I think Airtable is an excellent alternative. It has advanced data sheet or database creating capabilities. Apart from that, you also get a lot of project management and CRM templates in order to create your workflow instantly. You can also create your own AI agent using datasheet. You can create forms. You can connect your datasheet to your forms. And there are also a lot of helpful automations. So if you want to buy Airtable on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. With this deal, you are going to get all of these features and these are some of the tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. There is also tier 4 and tier 5. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description and once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this and on this box, you have to provide your email then click on unlock my 10% and then you will get a link in your email go to that link and this way you can get 10 percent you have to use it from AppSumo credits gift and this 10 percent discount is only for new customers you can also join our SaaS discussion group on facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this